Hi guys. It is absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over the top. It's a beautiful day under the chemtrail street skies of paradise. And the Catskill Mountains, we have made it to Labor Day weekend. It is Saturday, August 31st, 2019. Do you believe we are two thirds of the way through 2019 as we kind of wrap up this summer. Uh, the summer of 2019 coming to a close up here in the Catskill Mountains on this gorgeous weekend where I'm trying to hide out from the the main influx of the clueless fucking morons. I'm taking the the back roads across the Catskill Mountains, uh, just enjoying getting out there and enjoying this gorgeous collapsing planet in my gas-sucking truck while well, I still can. And so, anyway, guys, I you know yesterday I did this little rant, and it was a rant about all of this planet-eating stuff. But I, I mistakenly called it a depressed collapsitarian whine. And then I listened to it this morning. It wasn't a whine. It was a rant. So I'm going to sit here and I guess do a whine today. So I don't even know if this is a whine. You know, it's just pointing out. Uh, well, it's pointing out just one more reason we're so fucked. And th that reason is is because of uh, driving down this absolutely gorgeous back road on this beautiful day uh, in paradise. So, uh, you know, I packed up and uh, they're selling their Weber grill, closing up the summer. Like a yard sales in every yard in this little bitty town I'm going through. Uh, this is Bovina, New York. It's like every house for, is for sale in Bovina. Look at this gorgeous little village in the Catskills. Uh, so, you know, I was packing up this morning from that uh, dreary old trailer on the side of the road. Just, you know how it is where you just, whenever you're doing, bringing another chapter to a close, and it's just, I don't know that, what's that word? Melancholia. Uh, just like, you, you know, God damn it. Uh, it is this, is this ceaseless, pointless existence, is, is it ever going to come to an end? just this endless cycle of futile pointlessness, otherwise known as, as trying to uh, live in the end times, you know, when you understand how completely fucked we are and how just, uh, you know, just, just utterly hopeless it is on every single level. And then you take a look at your own goddamn worthless, pointless life. And, uh, you know, like, what the fuck? Here I go again, packing up the gas-sucking truck. You know, gearing up to uh, get out there to my next goddamn pointless adventure. And wondering what fucking drama and crisis... I'm going to encounter today in the goddamn collapse of global industrial civilization. You know, I, I go out to my truck, and all packed up, I head out to my truck and I plug in my iTunes, my 23,000 songs on my iTunes. You know, we won't get into that story, which at least that problem has been solved. You know, I. I crank up my damn gas sucking truck, just feeling kind of yeah, and then all of a sudden, dun 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 dun. 
and those screaming electric guitars from Neil Young uh, from you know Russ Never Sleeps live tour uh, where Neil Young comes out there taking no prisoners on hey hey my my you know the electric version and those screaming <coughs> caterwauling guitars uh, filling my ears like sweet manna from heaven that's uh, screaming rock and roll hey hey my my rock and roll will never die hell no rock and roll will never die and uh, I turn my gas sucking truck out onto this beautiful highway on this gorgeous day on the planet and step on that accelerator and feel those fossil fuel slaves kicking in feel that how many how many hundreds of fossil fuel slaves do I have working for me the old fossil fuel slave driver as my brand new better gas suck bigger better gas sucking truck starts rolling down the highway with Neil Young serenading me about hey hey my my rock and roll will never die it's better to burn out than it is to rust hell yeah Neil Young and you know that was this when did that? I can't even remember what year that came out. Maybe 78, 79. And I just kicked right back. And, and it's amazing. The, uh, all, of the, uh, all of us looking for the cure for our depression, it's been the same cure for my depression as it was the very first time. The very first time uh, what would that be? Uh, I'm getting ready to hit 60, so uh, 44, it's been 44 years ago, yes, when I got my driver's license on my 16th birthday and just getting out there the first time, the first time getting behind the wheel of a gas-sucking car with the radio blaring that would have been in 1976 I wonder what the very first rock and roll song was on the on the radio when I climbed behind the wheel of my very first gas sucking car at age 16 and uh, stepped on that gas pedal and headed off you know, right up, right up until my 16th birthday, I actually had this absolutely ridiculous fantasy that I've had for years, probably since you know half my life at age 16, that uh, when I graduated from high school, my dream had always been that I was going to hike the Appalachian Trail. I was going to hike the Appalachian Trail from Georgia to Maine. That's what I had been planning to do that summer, and I was also a uh, really into long distance bicycle riding. I would get on my bicycle and pedal for you know a hundred. I would take these 100 mile bicycle trips. Uh, all of my friends thought I was crazy, and uh, so I had all of these dreams hiking the Appalachian Trail which was going to be my warm-up to hiking the Pacific Crest Trail, thinking about all of these bicycle trips I was going to make. I got behind the wheel of that gas-sucking car the first time, and I stepped on that gas pedal with my license to drive. And uh, let me tell you what happened to my little pipe dream of hiking the Appalachian Trail, much less the Pacific Crest Trail. Uh, I don't know if I've been a hundred miles on a bicycle since my 16th birthday. You know, and, and 
So what I have always said, uh, when, I, when I go camping, what I like to do when uh, I go camping is to get my gas sucking truck. I, I like to park my, I like to take my, you know, I don't have a four wheel drive. I've never owned a four wheel drive. So I take my two wheel drive gas sucking truck as far as I possibly can out into the woods and I park it and then what I like to do is walk around the first bend in the trail you know so I can just get that gas sucking truck out of my sight and the first campsite that I get to out of sight of my gas sucking truck and you know for a couple of reasons not the main reason is I want to be within a 30 second walk back to my gas sucking truck uh, but I don't want to have to look at it. Uh, it's the second reason. And then, of course, if you get the first to the first campsite around the first bend uh, at the end of the road, you will get ahead of 99% of the clueless fucking morons. That 99% of humanity, well, the 99% of the one percent of humanity that actually even leaves their fucking house or apartment or condo to get in their gas sucking motorhome to go quote camping uh, you will be ahead of the pack of 99 percent of that one percent if you get around the first bend in the trail out of sight of your out of your gas sucking truck. Uh, so that's the, that, that is three reasons why I do that. Uh, you can see these very cool, this little tiny, this is a tiny, tiny house community. And I hope I remember how to get uh, where I'm going. And, uh, so that is what I have been doing from the very first time uh, that I ever stepped behind the, gas, behind the pedal of a gas sucking vehicle and cranked up uh, the stereo. Uh, that has been my number one way to get rid of depression by climbing behind the wheel of a gas sucking truck. It, it is the number one cure for depression uh, for a depressed collapsitarian is to crank up the uh, gas sucking truck. There you go. And this is why we're so fucked. Uh, for a few precious minutes uh, I can uh, sit, you know, I've dedicated my life to driving down beautiful back roads on beautiful days, looking at beautiful scenery, listening to good music. That is the definition of that. That is my definition of getting out there and enjoying it while I still can. Now, I do have my little dog who's not very interested in the scenery today. I guess he's going to stay in the back seat. Now, of course, the whine part is, uh, of course, part of my memories of uh, getting behind the wheel of a gas-sucking vehicle and cranking up the stereo usually involves a, uh, a female uh, sitting next to me. So uh, we do have that little issue of uh, the lack of a female human sitting next to me but for some reason I continue with this absolutely ridiculous notion that A, uh, I would be happier with a doomer chick uh, next to me uh, that perhaps a uh, fallacious notion that uh, I would be happier having a Doomer chick next to me 
And then, of course, with the equally ridiculous notion that at some point, at some point, there really, I really will find a Doomer chick who understands that the single best way to get out there and enjoy this planet while we still can is to uh, climb inside a gas sucking truck and crank up the radio and head down a beautiful back road uh, on a beautiful day. That is really all we can do. It's my best advice. To uh, it, it is it is the number one cure for depression. And of course, I do realize the irony of the situation that my number one cure for depression is the very thing that has uh, brought this planet to its knees and has done more to obliterate every one of our fellow Earthlings uh, off this planet uh, pretty much than any other activity other than breeding. But uh, since I am not a breeder, I'm going to give myself a pass today and I'm going to get out there and keep riding down this gorgeous back road in the Catskill Mountains on this beautiful day in the end times and uh, highly recommend that you get out there behind the wheel of your gas sucking car and crank up Neil Young on your stereo and head out into the wild blue yonder for whatever next adventure awaits you in your own puny little worthless pointless existence. Yep, 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 yep. Happy Labor Day. This is your old doomsday tourist heading off into God knows what. What are you whining about? Zach, you want to get up here or what? Your dog says, I want to get up here. Well, come on. Little dog is, says he's ready to get up here. He goes, you don't need a Doomer chick. Bop. You got the little Doomer dog. Got the little Doomer dog. Bye, guys.